Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Logan Alec. I'm a CPA. And today's video is a review and walkthrough of Receipt Hog. This is a rewards app that claims to convert your receipts into cash back. Now, I've done reviews on reward apps before, like my Shopkick review, where I had to actually use the Shopkick app while shopping at Walmart. Receipt Hog's rewards process um, is actually a bit more simple than that. All you have to do is upload a photo of your receipt into the Receipt Hog app. Well, it will, uh, where it will accumulate points or what Receipt Hog calls coins, and afterwards you can redeem those coins for cash. So to test and review this app, I had one of my writers, Viana, uh, download Receipt Hog, buy something from a store, and upload her receipt into the app. She's actually going to take you shopping with her later in this video and show you uh, how this all works, so stay tuned for that. We're also going to see how much money she made from Receipt Hog. Um, you can check out the table of contents in the description below if you want to skip to any other part of this review. Uh, this review will cover all the basic features of the Receipt Hog app from signing up to redeeming rewards. Then um, I'll go over the pros and cons of Receipt Hog, whether or not this app is right for you or if it's even worth trying in the first place. And if after watching this review to the very end, you think Receipt Hog is a good app for you, feel free to use my referral code GOK60450 when you download Receipt Hog and we'll both get a little uh, coin bonus. All right, let's get into it. Signing up for Receipt Hog is very straightforward. You can find Receipt Hog in the uh, Apple or Google uh, store for free. And uh, here's where you get a general overview of how Receipt Hog works. In the App Store for iOS, it is close to a five-star rating and generally positive reviews, which kind of passes the first scan for legitimacy for me. And again, uh, the process to redeem cash and rewards seems fairly simple. Receipt Hog also seems fairly transparent with their data tracking, and you can view this information when you scroll down the App Store past the reviews. As you can see, Receipt Hog lists uh, which data is used to track you and which data may be linked to you. This is because Receipt Hog sells that information to third parties. In turn, Receipt Hog will give you a small percentage of their earnings. So technically, when we see rewards apps that present itself as a free way to earn money. Uh, remember that it's not technically free by uploading your receipt, you're exchanging information, uh, such as your consumer habits and demographics for monetary value. So once you've downloaded the app, you sign up for an account by inputting information like your birthday, uh, gender preference, email, and where you live. This is so Receipt Hog has a better sense of your demographics and also they need to confirm your age because you need to be 17 years old or older to sign up. Once you do that, your account is officially ready to start earning. Just for signing up, uh, you get 50 coins. That's the in-app currency. We'll talk about how much these coins are actually worth later in the video. Um, once you sign up, Receipt Hog has four main pages. The home page is where you can see your coin count, referral code, which earns you 250 coins per referral, uh, and a general overview of more ways to earn. For example, uh, it says you can earn 36 coins for signing up to upload your online receipts, and apparently you can get monthly rewards for linking store accounts to the app. So aside from just uploading the receipts that you get in person, you can actually earn more coins by internally linking uh, your accounts to the Receipt Hog app. The Receipts tab is where you can upload your receipts. You do this by tapping on the blue camera icon on the bottom right of your screen and from there just simply take a clear picture of your receipt once you're done shopping. Once the receipt is processed, it is all documented under this tab. The link tab is where you can link your store accounts to the app. Um, Viana, like I mentioned, she's one of my writers, uh, did not have a store account to link to, but the details about this feature seem straightforward. You get a one-time sign-up bonus of 36 coins if you link your account, along with a bonus five entries to the monthly sweepstakes. This basically uh, links your past purchases to Receipt Hog, which might be an easier option if you have one of these store accounts and would rather not upload photos of physical receipts. The slots tab takes you to a virtual slot machine called Hog Slots, where you spend the slot to earn coins, and the rewards tab shows you three different ways of how you can redeem your rewards, as well as your redemption history, um, if you've redeemed anything. To be honest, this app, eh, it's kind of complicated for what it is, right? This is because there are three reward types that you can earn through uploading receipts. These reward types all earn you coins for one way or another, and you need a minimum of 1,000 coins to cash out. The first way is through coin receipts, which you can earn by purchasing from stores that sell primarily consumer, uh, consumable products like grocery stores, right? The second way uh, is through spin receipts, which you can earn by purchasing from stores that sell primarily non-consumable products, such as clothing stores. And finally, the third way is sweepstakes receipts, which is a luck of the draw situation where you earn one sweepstakes entry per every receipt you upload. This Gets a little confusing, so let's go over these one by one. First, coin receipts. According to the Receipt Hog website, coin receipts, which are coins you earn by uploading receipts from fast-moving consumer products, basically 
consumer items that sell at a low cost, like, you know, think groceries or drugstore products, uh, reward you based on the total amount you spent during your shopping trip. For example, if you upload a receipt that that's less than $10, you earn five coins. A receipt that totals $10 to $50 earns 10 coins. A receipt that totals $50 to $100 earns 15 coins. And any receipt over $100 earns 20 coins. But again, you can only earn these coin receipts if you upload receipts from stores that sell primarily consumable products like the stores listed here. Additionally, you can only upload 20 coin receipts per week. So uh, like I mentioned, one of my writers, Viana, took the time to download Receipt Hog and go to Target where she bought a $58 kettlebell, which earned her 15 coins just based on the conversion I just mentioned. Viana up also uploaded a $25 Sprout receipt, which earned her 10 coins. After you upload your receipt, Receipt Hog asks you a couple questions, who went on this trip and if any of the listed factors apply to your trip. So now uh, she's earned 75 coins under the coin receipts category. Next is spin receipts. These receipts earn you spins on the hog slots. What are hog slots, you ask? Good question. They're virtual slot machines that you can spin to earn coins. To get these spins, you have to upload receipts from retail stores like the stores listed here. Similarly, you can only upload up to 20 spin receipts per week. Upon downloading the app, Viana automatically received one spin on the hog slot, which won her 10 coins. However, a spin doesn't necessarily guarantee a reward. So even when you earn a spin, it doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna get coins automatically. Under this category, Viana uploaded a $21 Macy's receipt, which earned her one spin at the hog slot. From this spin, she earned 15 coins. Viana also tried to upload another uh, retail receipt from Nordstrom Rack, but alas, it was too old. So you can't just rummage around and expect all the receipts you've ever had to earn you coins. The receipt has to be a purchase you've made within the last 14 days for it to be valid. So to sum it up, spin receipts get you spins that can possibly earn you more coins. However, a spin does not guarantee a reward. The last rewards category uh, is sweepstakes receipts. Every receipt you upload gets you one entry to Receipt Hog's monthly sweepstakes, and this includes the receipts you uploaded from both coin and spin receipts. Additionally, this rewards category accepts receipts from gas stations, gas only, uh, restaurants, cafes, and more. But keep in mind that receipts from hotels, amusement park stadiums, and theaters do not qualify for rewards. And similar to the coin and spin receipts threshold, you have up to 20 sweepstakes entries per week. The rewards from winning a monthly sweepstakes ranges from 20 coins to 200 coins to 5,000 coins. But honestly, this seems like one of those long shot situations where users are promised an entry to a draw but nobody really wins the big prize. Uh, Receipt Hog does show past sweepstakes winners, but whether or not someone actually gets the 5,000 coin jackpot is still kind of TBD. But hey, I guess it never hurts to try. After uploading receipts from Target, Sprouts, and Macy's, Viana earned three entries to the September sweepstakes, and no, she did not win. Uh, Receipt Hog also has levels that you can um, that can earn you more spins or coins within every milestone reach. For example, when Viana reached level three, she earned two spins to earn five coins. All right, now that we've gone over the rewards categories, let's talk about how to actually redeem rewards. When Viana tried to redeem her reward, she found out that in order to do so, she needed to complete three steps. Take a questionnaire, verify her email address, and verify her device. This sounds easy enough. So she set out to complete the Receipt Hogger questionnaire, which also uh, came with a bonus of 30 coins. However, she became suspicious of it because it required her to input an address and other semi-personal information like household income and ethnicity. Again, this is so Receipt Hog can get a better sense of your consumer habits and demographics. But ultimately, she completed the questionnaire and now has a bonus of 30 coins. She verified her email address, which didn't earn her coins, but meant that she was one step closer to redeeming rewards. And when she finally tried the last step to redeem her rewards, which was to verify her device, she was unable to because she needed a balance of at least 300 coins. So after uploading $230 worth of receipts, spending all those times at the hog slot and inputting all that personal information, she was not able to see, she was not even able to see her redemption offers because she didn't have at least 300 coins to verify her device. I must say this is sort of genius on Receipt Hog's part because they consecutively listed out the ways to redeem coins from easy to difficult. Receipt Hawk listed the questionnaire as the op an opportunity to earn 30 coins. They didn't need a minimum coin count to verify Viana's email. However, they needed 300 coins to verify her device. And personally, I feel like this portion is targeted to make sure that users complete the questionnaire and email verification without necessarily cashing out. So in order to see your redemption offers, you need a balance of at least 300 coins. Additionally, in order to actually redeem your rewards, you need a balance of at least 1,000 coins. And if you don't go through with this whole thing, for example, if you did all that and decide that this whole process was too laborious and tedious, Receipt Hog still gained all the information about you, you know, from the receipts and the questionnaire. Okay. So if you're in this position, and you're asking yourself, is it worth it to continue using Receipt Hog? Well, 
Here are the redemption offers so you can decide for yourself. There are three ways to redeem rewards through a seat hog. Once you've reached at least 1,000 coins, you can choose between these three reward options, a direct PayPal transaction, an Amazon e-gift card sent to your email, or a Visa e-gift card sent to your email. Overall, Viana earned 157 coins from receipts, totaling $257. Keep in mind that 50 of these coins were just for signing up, but in any case, unfortunately, she was not able to cash out since she needed 1,000 coins minimum to redeem her reward. So, how much are these receipt hog coins actually worth in cash back anyway? Well, Viana had trouble finding this information on the receipt, hag, uh, receipt hog website, so she emailed support asking to clarify. Customer report actually re uh, responded quickly with this conversion rate. Earn 1,000 coins, you could get $5. Earn 2,900 coins, you could get $15. Earn 4,300 coins, you can earn $25. And lastly, earn 6,500 coins, and you can get $40. As you can see, it's better if you gather and save all your points until you've accumulated more and more because you'll get more value for them. So how much exactly did Viana earn through Receipt Hog on her $230 in spending? Well, in total, she earned 157 coins, but I'm going to ignore the 50 coin sign-up bonus she earned, leaving her with only 107 coins directly related to her $230 worth of spending. So if she cashed out, if she cashed out at 1,000 coins, she would earn $5. That would mean each coin would be worth 0 0.005 cents. Okay. And she had 107 coins. So 107 coins times 0 0.005 cents per coin comes out to 53.5 cents earned through Receipt Hog. 53.5 cents divided by Viana's $230 worth of spending yields a cash back rate of 0.23%. But if she waits until she has 6,500 coins to cash out, her cash back rate would be 0.29%. One thing to note is that, like I mentioned earlier, Receipt Hog doesn't give you a set percent back in coins per dollar spent. It employs kind of this tiered method, right? If your receipt is less than $10, you're in five coins. If it's between $10 and $50, you're in 10 coins, etc. So there's some room for strategy there. Obviously, the lower the dollar amount your receipt is in each coin bracket, the higher your cash back yield will be for that particular purchase. But just in Viana's case here, across a range of receipts, she earned something in the range of 0.23% back to 0.29% back. So all in all, you got to figure out if this is worth it to you. Right, you know, I'm a huge fan of the City Double Cash card, which gives you two percent back, right? Almost ten times the Receipt Hog cash back that Viana earned anyway. So, uh, comparatively, Receipt Hog doesn't give that much back, right? But think about it: you can earn, you can use your City Double Cash or other rewards card to pay and get two percent back with your card, and then on top of that, get a little more cash back with Receipt Hog. Obviously, with Receipt Hog, there's some labor involved. You have to take pictures, answer questions. May not necessarily be worth your time, but I'll leave that up to you to you to decide if snapping pictures of your receipts and make a few extra bucks a month is worth it to you. I just want to give you the numbers and you can make your own decision there. However, if you want to accumulate your coins to wait until you have 6,500 coins to get that slightly higher cash back rate, be wary of forgetting about the Receipt Hog app because the terms and conditions state that your account could be erased or suspended if you abandon using this app for more than three consecutive months. Once you request your redemption, your request will be approved within seven days. All right, now that we've gone over how to download and use Receipt Hog, let's go over the pros and cons of this app. Let's start with the pros. Pro number one, Receipt Hog is low maintenance. Like other rewards apps that require you to take surveys, play games, or anything that involves you inputting some level of active attention, all you really need to do to earn points through Receipt Hog is take a picture of your receipt. Uh, that, compared to other rewards apps, is a pretty low maintenance way to earn a quick buck. Aside from uploading a receipt, sure, you'll spend some time spending the hog slot, but again, that doesn't require as much time as taking a survey or watching a video. So overall, I would say that the app doesn't require too much precious brain activity because all you really need to do is remember to upload receipts, spend the hog slot, and earn enough to redeem your rewards. And you automatically do get entered for the sweepstakes. Pro number two, Receipt Hog is easy to use. Overall, this app is pretty easy to use in terms of the user interface, and the receipts don't take too long to upload. It says the processing time ranges from zero to seven days, uh, but Fiona's receipts uploaded pretty fast, usually within a few minutes. You just have to make sure that the receipt is flat and that you, that you take a good quality photo so that Receipt Hog can easily identify it. Receipt Hog also uses an in-app camera, so you don't have to give the app permission to access all your photos, just your camera. Pro number three, Receipt Hog basically pays you to keep a record of your receipts in one place. If you're one of those people who save their receipts for tax pur uh, purposes or liability purposes or just for record keeping or whatever, this app is a good way to store that information. However, it doesn't keep the actual photo of your receipt, at least not in a way that you can access it in the future. So you would have to take a separate photo to store uh, in your phone or elsewhere. The only information Receipt app uh, Receipt Hog keeps is where you shopped and the amount you purchased. Pro number four. Pretty responsive customer support. 
One aspect uh, that Viana did like about Receipt Hog was the attentive customer support. She had a hard time finding information about the coin to cash back conversion rate. And when she emailed customer support about it, she received a reply just a couple hours later with detailed information. The customer support email is support at receipthog.zendesk.com, which she found with a simple Google search. But the, the app also has a handy Q&A page under settings. You just go to settings and the questions and feedback. This is where you can see all the frequently asked questions along with an in-app email feature where you can directly reach out to customer service. That said, there are still some, uh, some definitely some cons that may outweigh these pros about Receipt Hog. So here's what uh, Viana and I really didn't like about Receipt Hog. Con number one, it's difficult to redeem your rewards. The minimum amount to cash out is 1,000 coins, and as I mentioned before, 1,000 coins can get you $5. Viana uploaded receipts totaling $230, but ultimately all these earned her were 157 coins. 107, if we're really being precise here, because she received 50 coins just as a sign-up bonus. She only had a limited amount of time to test out the app, so she couldn't reach 1,000 coins ASAP unless she were to buy more things and upload the receipts. So this is an app that really requires you to keep coming back to it. Cloud number two, Receipt Hog has a somewhat confusing reward system. Receipt Hog groups the receipts into different rewards categories and I get it because it probably makes their job easier in terms of sorting out the industry in which users earn rewards from. But at the same time, all the wording and new concepts like spin receipt or coin receipt really make it kind of confusing, right? For a, a silly, you know, little shopping app. And, and it feels kind of hard to get at first. Additionally, as I mentioned before, spin receipts don't automatically earn your rewards. And that's a little frustrating. Con number three, receipt hog sells your data. This goes for all similar rewards apps out there. There's just no way around it because this is how they get to pay you, right? This is how they make money. This seems really obvious, but I'm just mentioning it here in case you weren't aware of that exchange. Con number four, you have a weekly rewards threshold and you can see this on the weekly progress bar. Like I mentioned earlier, you can only upload up to 20 coin receipts and 20 spin receipts per week. But once you earn 100 coins within a one week period, you get five coins as a reward for every upload. For example, say you upload a receipts with high amounts during the beginning of the week and you reach 100 coins with those uploads. Uh, you go out to shop again and now have a receipt for a product that's worth more than $200. That receipt should earn you 20 coins, but if you upload that receipt to Receipt Hog after earning 100 coins, that receipt will only be worth five coins regardless. However, it's difficult to reach 100 coins in under one week in the first place, so this might not affect most people anyway. Con number five, weird branding. The Receipt Hog jargon and branding is a little annoying. For example, points are called coins, the spin slot is called a hog slot, and when you visit the website, they have a lot of keywords and kind of jargon that really show their commitment to their uh, pig-themed brand identity. It's a little weird, and it reminds me of all the things that make casinos kind of cheesy, but hey, that's just my personal preference. I understand that they're trying to gamify this experience, but I would say that this marketing angle kind of created more complications than it did make things fun in the first place, because honestly, a hog slot, that just sounds really weird, right? And finally, con number five, Receipt Hog has a fairly low earnings potential. Earning 6,500 coins seems like it would take at least a year for the average person, but that does depend on your spending habits. I think you really need to be dedicated to feeding this hog consistently and remembering to document your receipt. With that said, here are my final thoughts on Receipt Hog. In the end, I find this app to be fairly unnecessary for most people, but a useful bonus if you really want to maximize cash back any way you can. If you're buying things with a credit card and you already have a cash back reward situation going on there, for example, maybe you have a credit card uh, that gives you, uh, you know, at least 1%, maybe 2%, like uh, so you double cash on all purchases, then you're earning additional cash back by using this app on top of your credit card rewards. You could uh, also look at it as a supplemental boost to your current cash back reward system, but keep in mind that Receipt Hog doesn't give you as much cash back as a typical decent rewards credit card would, um, and right, you have to put in more work. I did the math earlier, and in our test with Viana's particular receipts that she uploaded to Receipt Hog, her cash back rate basically came out to something in the range of 0.23% to 0.29%, depending on how many coins you redeem at a time, which isn't a lot, but hey, it's something, right? And if you keep receipts anyway, might not be a bad idea, but if you but you really have to spend a lot of money to earn any remotely significant uh, amount of money through this app. So if you're someone who really doesn't spend that much, this app is probably gonna take you years or longer just to make a few bucks. But if you are a big spender or if you live in a household that has a lot of expenses, it could probably help you out a little bit. Like I said, it's supplemental, not a side hustle sort of deal. Don't expect to make a lot through Receipt Hog because it's definitely a long game and you won't win a lot of money. All right, folks, that concludes my Receipt Hog review uh, and walkthrough. If you've uh, ever tried Receipt Hog or have any Receipt Hog tips that Fiona and I should have used, uh, let us know in the comments below. And who knows, we might get a bonus spin 
on the hog slot. If you're interested in learning more about uh, other cashback apps, be sure to check out my Shopkick review right over here that gives you cashback while shopping, though I tend to like Shopkick a bit better than Receipt Hog, uh, as well as my Get Upside review that I use to get cashback on gas right down here. And I'll see you in those videos, folks. Bye-bye.